favorite little towns called Volcano. Anyways, this place is so cool and it boasts one of the oldest running general stores since 1852. And it's right here. And you can get a good burger here too if you like to eat meat. But we're here to check out. You can see it's not it's not a big town. I love the little houses here. Let's go check out the cemetery. That's beautiful. So I have to be wary of snakes and things. I'm not sure what that is. What is that? It's neat. Rest Albert Petty born July 14th, 1865, uh, and died May 13th, 1898. Can you hear the bees? Ida Ellen, wife of maybe G.W. Parker, died November 14th, 1887, aged 30 years, six months, native of Volcano. This little marker, beautiful little angel. G, son of G.W. and Ellie, that's the son, 1879, aged one year, four months and 17 days. Earth has one pure spirit less, heaven one uh, innate more, I think. This one's neat too. Look at that. George Parkin died April 7th, 1892, aged 40 years. Native of Michigan, I think. I don't know what that says. Birmingham. Birmingham, Alabama. And so I have two cemeteries to look at. The other one's right across the way, and it's the Catholic Cemetery. Sorry, there's bugs everywhere. In memory of John Harker, born 1816, died 1889, native of Germany. Here we have a gorgeous metal marker, which I love.
Helen L. Allen, wife of F. Sugden, or Su Sugden. I don't know how you'd pronounce that. Sudan. Died August 3rd, 1875, aged 19 years and 8 months. What a piece. Marion R., wife of T.B. Atkinson, died May 1st, 1881, aged 32 years, 9 months, 26 days. Probably Civil War. Gorgeous metal marker here. Now, if you notice the orange coloring, it's because we're dealing with a really bad fire. And we also just came out of a record breaking heat where we reached 116 degrees. Um, but all of last week was, you know, 110, 112, 115 every day. And it was nuts. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Florence, beloved daughter of W.M. and L.A. Jones, died October 7th, 1884, aged 20 years, 8 months, and 8 days, I think. There's William, another metal piece here. Died 1900, aged 67. show you the size of this stone here. Look at this. It's massive. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the one here is broken off and it was rather large as well. The memory of Carolyn, wife of uh, L. something. Lane died in Volcano, February 8th, 1863. The whole family's here. You probably can't see what I'm looking at. I didn't set my camera up right there. Look at the size of this. Well, it's taller than me. It's not saying much. I'm not that tall. Still, beautiful piece. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Mother Elizabeth, wife of James Miller, died May 13th, 1880, aged 57 years and 11 months. That says Jemima, wife of G.B. Goodrich, died January 27th, 1876, aged 31 years. And as you can see, it's very overgrown. And these suckers right here, boy oh boy, no joke, they are sharp. We have a 
nice gothic looking headstone. You really got to be careful of rattlesnakes out here. So, what does that say? Pluma Clut died March 16th, 1880, age 71 years. Look at that beautiful headstone. That is just gorgeous. Also got to watch out for bees. I'm bugging them. Bugging the bugs. John J. Leith died December 2nd, 1871. Aged 23 years, 5 months, 28 days. And his wife, Sarah A. Oh no. Different, different husband. <laughs> Sorry. Wife of Sa Samuel, maybe? I don't think it says Samuel. Samuel. Um, I don't know. Sh Shalor died December 23rd, 1863, age 55 years. Shaylor, Melinda, born 1835, died 1916, and James died December 1st, 1893, age 63 years. Another beautiful piece here. memory of John W. Fry died November 23rd, 1861, aged 35 years. A native of something New York. Another beautiful gothic headstone. Sarah E., wife of Moses Robinson, born Marion County, Missouri, I think, December 15th, 1839. Died May 6, 1862. These beautiful big oaks. See that orange hue. I really can't even read. The grave of Matilda, wife of M. 
Uh, I don't know. Rallaroo? <laughs> that is so hard to read. Looks like she was born 1812. <clears throat> uh, uh... I wish I could see. I don't like that I have to wear glasses. Look at this. Beautiful. My wife, I think, is what it says. Man, that's gorgeous. These right here. They're angels. I didn't notice that when I was first looking at it, but they're angels sitting. I just think that's beautiful. Sorry I'm shaking. I really do hope you enjoy these as much as I do. And please know that these videos, these are made for you. These aren't these aren't made for me. Well, partially. Because I love cemeteries, especially old cemeteries. But look at that. That is gorgeous. And the, the, the lichen growing. Just beautiful. But yeah, these videos, these are made for you, the viewer. It's a little one right there. These are just so old. Probably end up with a bunch of ticks and stuff. That's cool. Beautiful gothic piece, but I want you to see the font on here. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I apologize for the shadow of my gimbal. 